Good time zone and reality, everyone. My name is Vel here at Science Away, and happy holidays and Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then once again, happy holidays. If you don't celebrate anything, then I hope you just have a fantastic day anyway. So, at the time I'm recording this, today is Christmas. By the time it goes up, hopefully it's still the 25th of December. So one of the first things that we're going to be assembling is this nightlight. Now, you're thinking, a nightlight, but... But why? It's a special nightlight, and we're going to get into that. And I say it's special because it's one of these fancy things. So if you haven't seen these, some of the nightlights, which is some really cool lights, are out of these. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's transparent. But they have these designs in them, and they light up. So this is a, I'm not sure if you can really see it, it's a raptor, a velociraptor, I think. And it's got little lines on it. So hopefully you can see that. We're going to take stickers off for this whole thing, really. Maybe you'll see it clearer. Okay. Oh, there's one on the back, too. <laughs> oh, this is fancy. I think you can see it even less now. <laughs> But either way, you'll see it better when we finally light it up. And let's see what else we got in here. We have the 3D lamp user guide. So please read all instructions and warnings before use. Yep, so how to remove, remove the transparent protective film from both sides of the acrylic plate. Insert acrylic plate into base. So we haven't gotten the base out yet. We're gonna go ahead and just take that out. So it's got a little remote, apparently. I have it upside down, sorry. <laughs> little remote. And I'm not sure what it does. Maybe we can get flash. I mean, some different light patterns. Uh, we got the cord, obviously. I think it's USB charge. If you have one of those, but what I'm trying to say is, usually there's this little gadget that you can use that we can plug the USB into it, and you can plug it into an outlet. I have no idea what they're called. I'll put the text on screen somewhere saying what it is. All right, so let's get everything out. And then this is the base. It's actually a very nice base. I like the uh, pattern on it. Here we go. I think that's the company. Fly on, see? <laughs> fly on, I think it's fly on, see. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. And if you can see on the inside here, those are the little LEDs, I believe. Look like it. And I think that's it. There's nothing else in here. That's a nice bubble wrap. <laughs> Can we pop these? You can't pop these, I'm sad. <laughs> I was hoping we could get, get at least like one pop, but it's fine. All right, so move the box out of the way. Now, uh, insert, so we're gonna insert our picture here of our Velociraptor into the base. I'm not sure if there's a right way or a wrong way. Feels like it's leaning to me. I don't know. Let's point the camera down so you can see what's going on better. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Yay! So we now have this in our base, and we are going to plug the USB cable in. Now it will probably light up on camera, but we're going to go into a dark space or wait wait until it's nighttime to see how it looks. Now, my computer is right here. This should plug in nicely. I'm gonna turn it this way. Oh, hold it. I'm not sure why they're telling me to put the batteries in after I've put the dinosaur in up top. Technically, you should try to put the batteries in first. Okay, so I don't have batteries. I'm gonna have to get batteries, so I will be right back. <laughs> Let me go get some batteries. So we need three double A's. I was gonna say triple A's, but double A's. Three double A's. For my base anyway. Alright, so I'm back. Got the batteries. Got three double A's. I think there's several different designs. For example, my brother has a Lamborghini one. Oh, what? Why? It, for some reason, everything just started flashing. I don't know if the camera caught that, but. Okay, now that's in. Now we can put our Velociraptor back in. 
And for now, we're going to plug it into my computer. Okay. Now I'm going to unwrap our remote. This is actually a nice size remote. Does it need batteries too? Oh no. So this is a little plastic clip here. So that means the batteries are in there. You just got to take it out. Now the, the battery should be in. All right. So press the power button to turn on or to turn on or turn on with the remote using the on button. Oh, was there a power button? Oh, it's probably in the front. No, it's not. But we're going to turn it on with this instead. Yeah. So even the base lights up, it's a little bit red. I'm not sure if the camera picks that up nicely, but. See, so only the parts with the lines light up. For example, this whole glass is not lit up, which is very nice. So if we do this, yeah. So we can go back to red. It looks blue on camera, but I promise you it's green. I will take a bunch of pictures when it's nighttime. As you can see, the nightlight is very bright. It has seven colors, those being red, green, blue, yellow, cyan or light blue, purple, and white. You can switch between the colors by either pressing the arrow on the remote or the button on the base. You can change the speed of each light mode. You can make them extremely slow or so fast it's like a strobe light. This is the fastest the flash can get. This is the slowest the flashing mode can get. There are five different light modes. There's the flash mode, which will flash whatever color is currently selected on and off on repeat. Button one activates the pulsating or breathing mode. This switches between all the colors instead of just one. This makes the colors slowly dim and slowly brighten on repeat, which makes it look like the light is breathing or pulsating. Button two activates a light mode that just scrolls through each of the seven colors without any effect. Button 3 activates the same mode as button 2, but instead of cycling through the colors in the same order, it shuffles them. Button 4 activates another light mode, which is the same as the flashing mode, but it cycles through every color instead of just one. To stop any of the light modes activated by buttons 1 through 4, press the down yellow arrow. You stop the flash mode by pressing the yellow flash button. You can tap the button on the base to switch between colors, hold it down for a few seconds to turn it off, and tap it to turn it on. You can set how long it stays on for too. It can be set to stay on for one hour being the minimum, two hours, four hours, eight hours, 12 hours, and 24 hours being the max it can be set at. There's also a minus and plus button to change how bright or how dim the light can be. So if it's too bright at night, you can just dim it down a little bit, either by pressing it multiple times or by holding either of the buttons. I can see this being great for kids to use as a mobile light at night when getting water or finding their way to the bathroom. After all, it doesn't always have to be plugged in because remember, it runs off of three AA batteries. If you want your kids to go to sleep and not play with the light, I suggest putting the light somewhere they can't reach since you don't need the remote to change colors. All you have to do is press the button on the base and bam, you're changing colors. However, you do need the remote to put on different light modes, so keep that out of reach too unless you do want to have a sleepover party. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!